Welcome back to Just Scribble. Did you guys know that Archer and Olive started selling watercolors? I was so excited when I saw this. I have absolutely no need for more watercolors. I have quite a few watercolors and probably more than I actually need, but for some reason I'm always wanting to buy more in different colors from different brands and try them out. So I was really excited when I saw that Archer and Olive was offering watercolors because theirs were handmade watercolors that are made locally with locally sourced and sustainable materials. And because they're based in Texas and I'm in Texas, I really wanted to get some of their watercolors. They are ground by hand and they are made in small batches. They are light fast, permanent and non-toxic and they come in four really pretty sets. They have a primary set, a cool set, a warm set and a jewel set. And I know I really love my Archer and Olive Acrylographs that come in similar colorway sets. And I also really love my Calligraphs from Archer and Olive. So I just knew I had to get Archer and Olive watercolors and try them out. And I have all four sets. So I thought we would open these up and check them out and do some little swatches of them. So they come in these small white boxes and on the bottom it has a little sticker with the colors that are included in that set and when you open them up if i can get them opened you have six watercolor pans in that set and they have they're a little hard to get out because they're very tight fit and they have labels on them, labeling each one so you know which color they are, which I really appreciate. Now they do sell a wooden case that you can get for your sets. To me, the wooden case was way too expensive, especially since you could pretty much just fit a set in it, and I knew that I wanted to get all four sets. So I did not buy their little case for it. I'm actually going to, where did I put it? I'm actually going to be putting magnet on the bottom of each of these little pans and then I'm actually going to put my Archer and Olives in this Pochaco tin. It's like a pencil case tin that I bought used on eBay. I love Pochaco. He's the only Sanrio character that I love and it's really hard to find Pochaco things. So when I found this I had to buy it. I think the inside is so pretty and it's going to be perfect to hold these watercolors. So I'm going to be putting magnets. This is a piece of the magnet. So I'm going to be putting this adhesive magnet on the bottom of each pan and then I'm going to be loading this little case up with my Archer and Olive watercolors. So this will be my Archer and Olive watercolor palette. It's kind of a mouthful. But before I do all of that, I wanted to swatch them all out. So I did already go through and make a sheet with each of the four sets with the names of the colors on here so that we could swatch them out and check them out. I have not used these watercolors yet. Oh, and before I forget, these are only available right now domestically. They are only offering domestic shipping on these watercolors. I don't know why at this point they're only shipping domestically, but I did want to mention that before I forgot. So I apologize to any of my international subscribers that can't get these yet, but if you have a friend in the US, you might be able to have your friend get them for you and mail them to you as kind of a workaround. But we are going to go ahead and swatch these out. I will say I haven't watercolored in quite some time. Let me flip over my little watercolor towel. I haven't watercolored in quite some time, so I feel very out of practice but we are going to see how this goes. And I obviously, I haven't used their watercolors yet either. I wanted to put a little bit of water at the bottom of each one so that maybe it would do a little bit of gradient. Too much water. These have a nice pigment. This is the primary set. So it's gonna have your red, yellow, blue, green, purple, and black. And I think you guys can read the colors, but I will go through them after I've got the whole page swatched out. Put a little too much water. 
Now this book that I am uh, swatching in, it's not actually watercolor paper. It's a Canson, I think Canson, no Strathmore. It's a Strathmore mixed media book. I decided that I would just use this for my swatching because I don't always watercolor on watercolor paper. So I like to see how it performs on other paper. And I know this mixed media paper can take the water. So that's the primary set. We have Carmine Red, Hansa Yellow, Chromium Oxide Green, Ultramarine Blue, Quinacridone Magenta, and Lamp Black. So I'm gonna lift that up and let you guys check it out. I have absolutely no natural light today for filming. So I have only my studio lighting, but I think the colors are coming up nicely and realistic the way they look in real life obviously these aren't dry but i'm going to go ahead and flip it so we can go to the next set so the next one is the cool set and just like the primary set they do have little stickers if you can see those without me taking them out little stickers with the names on them now this is a cool set, so these are gonna be a little bit more muted, less vibrant. These are going down nice and smooth. I've had some handmade watercolors that are a little bit grainy, and these are not grainy at all. That brook color is really pretty. And I like that they came out with a few different colorway sets in case you just wanted to pick up something that was not already in your watercolor collection or if you gravitated towards certain colors. But also, although you can mix things yourself, sometimes it's nice just to have colors already made. And these are unique, other than the primary, obviously. These are very unique colorways. So I'm excited to have these to add to my watercolor set. I'm glad that I decided to go ahead and get them. So that is the cool set. We have Sunbeam, Meadow, Glade, Brook, Twilight, and Bark. So I'm gonna hold them up so you guys can check them out. This cool set is very Eastery to me. Like I think you could make a really pretty Easter watercolor on your journaling page, or if you art and watercolor in a book, be a really good set for that. It reminds me of spring. And next we have the warm set. I really am glad that they did very minimal packaging on these two. Archer and Olive sometimes does too much packaging on some of their stuff in my opinion. And I always feel kind of guilty and bad when I throw packaging away. And these are really thin, and you could probably reuse these for like gifting and stuff too. They might be the perfect size to put like a gift card in if you weren't keeping them in there like I'm moving mine out. And I'm glad they put the names on them because when they first started selling their acrylographs, they weren't putting their names on the pens, the, the color names. And so I had to go with my label maker and label them all. And then now they've added the names to their acrylographs, which is awesome because it saves me a step. But I'm glad that they went ahead and put the names on these. Ooh, that's pretty. It's very like almost midnight blue, very deep. I have done some watercoloring on my channel. I have shared watercolors some, and I've done some actual watercoloring where we watercolored together. Is that something you guys enjoy watching? Because I could definitely do more with you guys. I could do some seasonal sketches and watercolors if it's something that would interest you. 
So there we have the warm set. So we have sunflower, cherry blossom, grape hyacinth, blue thistle, willow, and twig. So pretty. My kiddo loves the movie Peter Rabbit, and this reminds me of Peter Rabbit. I think it is such a pretty combination. And then the last set is the jewel set. This is the one that I'm most excited about. I just think that it's such a pretty, unique color combination. I'm interested if you guys knew that Archer and Olive had these, if you guys had bought them. Do you guys watercolor? Do you guys want to see more brands that I have of watercolors? I'm always interested to know what you guys want to see, what you guys have, what you want reviewed, things like that. I want to definitely give you guys what you guys want. I really think that these are great colors for my journal. Sometimes I like to watercolor in the background of my journal. Oh, that's pretty. And I think that these colors, other than the primary set, because it's just kind of basic, right? But the other three, the cool, the warm, and the jewel, I think are really good sets for journaling backgrounds because they have color and they're unique, but they're subtle. So it'd be really easy to journal over them or to coordinate stickers and washi with them. So I'm really glad that I decided to get these. If you do watercolor, let me know what your favorite brand is. You know, most people really love Daniel Smith and I have quite a few Daniel Smith watercolors as well. But I'm always curious what everyone's favorites are. So that is the jewel set. So we have Dusty Quartz, Deep Granite, Buell Az bleh, Blue Azurite, Pale Topaz, Olivine, and Pink Spinel. There you can see them up close. So those are the four sets of watercolors that Archer and Olive has released. I don't know if they're going to be releasing more colorways in the future. I would expect that they will. I would expect something might come out in summer and then another set in fall to just kind of round out the watercolor collections. But I think this is a really good start. These four sets are really, really pretty. So there's the jewel set, the warm set, the cool set, and the primary set. So that is my video on the Archer and Olive watercolors. I really don't know which set is my favorite. I thought that the jewel set was going to be my favorite, but I actually think that this cool set might be my favorite. At least right now, because we're heading into springtime, I think that this might be my favorite of the set, but I also think that they could mix and match really well so I could kind of play with the colors from the different sets and make something really, really pretty. That is my video on the Archer and Olive watercolors. If you have any questions about these watercolor sets, please don't hesitate to comment below and I will definitely get back with you. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this share and swatching of the Archer and Olive watercolors. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss future videos and don't forget to just scribble.